this video we're going to talk about eBay stores creating a storefront on eBay so who needs a store high volume sellers are lots of listings after 50 listings a month you'll pay listing fees however not all people who sell more than 50 a month need a store sellers with annual sales exceeding ten thousand dollars and power sellers let's jump over and look at an eBay store. Here we are on the subscriptions and fees pages for eBay stores. Notice there are three different levels, basic, premium, and anchor. There's a monthly subscription fee for each one or an annual fee if you prepay. Notice there's a discounted listing fee at the anchor store all the way down to five cents. We have lower final value fees. The number of free listings goes up higher. And you see various other items here. Now it says recommendations. List at least 50 items a month for the basic store. List 150. And for Anchor, you, have, you should list more than 500 a month. Now there's also something called a fee illustrator, which I'll show you here, which illustrates based on a seller that's going to sell 10,000 listings a month in consumer electronics. You can see the different store subscriptions and with no store at all. And notice that for this seller, an anchor store makes the most sense because it's almost half the cost of no store at all. However, if I cut the listings down, let's say to 75 and 10, and keep my other items the same, 50, 75, and 10 dollars, you'll notice that now a basic store makes the most sense when we factor in the subscription fee. An anchor store is actually almost the same as having no store at all because of the higher subscription fee. And I picked an annual subscription here. It saves you about $20 to choose an annual subscription. So it makes sense to do so. So if you are a high volume seller or someone that wants to make a business on eBay, someone that maybe already has a brick and mortar store, and wants to extend out the online world, someone that is a high volume seller moves lots of items. An eBay store could be right for you. Let's look at an example here. So I'm just going to Google eBay stores here. And let's see. We'll go to this site and I'm going to search for iPhone. And here's a store called Cell Power Cases. And this store sells cell phone cases. And here are all their listings. So the biggest advantage of a store is, is all of your listings show up on one page. You can follow a store and all of your listings show up. Like this seller has 57,000 results or 57,000 items listed on eBay at this at this time of this recording and all of them appear right here and we have various sort options the same sort options we have anywhere else on eBay best match ending soonness newly listed price low price high and then price plus shipping and if we look at a listing this is a buy it now listing for a case that's twelve dollars and ninety five cents so this looks exactly the same and this is the top rated seller, which means they get, as you notice, they get highest buyer ratings. They offer a return and a money back guarantee and they ship within one business day. So high volume sellers can earn extra rewards, which lowers the cost as well. Now you see here, PayPal credit is a new option. Earlier in the course, we talked about options and we saw bill me later. Bill me later, as of this video, has been rebranded PayPal Credit. So if you watch an earlier video and see Bill Me Later, then you see this video and don't see it. That's because it's been rebranded 
PayPal credit. So other than having your own little place here, your own page with all of your listings and discounted listing fees and other options, as you saw on the first screen, those are the biggest advantages of having a store. Not every eBay seller needs a store. If you're a casual user and not using eBay for a business, there's no reason to have a store because you have a monthly subscription fee. Absolutely no reason to pay a monthly subscription fee unless you're going to list a bunch of items. So as a casual seller, you don't need this. If you're, if you're doing eBay as a business, you might need it, you might not. It depends on your listings. If you have under 50 listings a month, there's no reason to have a store. Because if you search for someone's username, the same list like this comes up for that username. There are some other options that stores have that a, no, a regular user doesn't have, but you can still see all of someone's listings if they had your user ID. So more than 50 items a month is the bare minimum to a store, and even then sometimes it doesn't make sense. As we'll flip back to the fee calculator here, we do 50 listings a month, all auction, our average selling price, let's say, is $15. You'll see here that a store saves you a little bit of money, $110 versus $81.95, a little bit of money, but not a lot. Now, if I said I only do 30 items per month at $15, you'll see a store still makes a little bit of sense but not a lot. But you see as I go down here in listings, the store makes less and less sense. Here, this one, you save $2 a year, but you're paying $16 a month. So if your items don't work out, you not this won't necessarily pay for itself. Now, if I'm selling large items, let's say my average is $1,000. Now, even at 20 listings a month, the store makes sense because of the lower final value fees, as you see here, sixteen twenty versus nine seventy two. So the higher value of your average sale, the more sense the store makes, even at low volume.